I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession and believing and may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response is, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia! Alleluia! Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, be in my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. 
Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and put your hand, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen but have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I guess we could sum up a good bit of what we heard in the scripture this morning is saying, uh, it isn't just believing, it's what we believe. That's what I think the message of the gospel is getting at, because we can say, I believe, but what do you believe? And when we talk about, I believe something about Jesus, what do I believe? And so what we have in the gospel is an understanding that one, at first you could say the belief or the unbelief in Thomas was the fact that he didn't believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And that so he, and that it was really him, and that he didn't have the evidence to be able to touch and see and, and, and make that decision. And that that's what was believed, is he saw Jesus risen from the dead. Uh, but what he, it says, his belief ultimately is, when Jesus challenged him, his belief is that Jesus is his Lord and his God. Not just that he's risen from the dead, that, that's a signal of the immensity of who Jesus is. But Thomas recognized who Jesus was, his Lord and his God. Uh, and I think that's the struggle we have in life in general is pinpointing just what we believe. And when we come to believe what Thomas came to believe, uh, and it did help him to be able to see and touch, seemingly, uh, we manifest that reality in how we function. And St. Paul touches on that very thing as he speaks to the Ephesians and it says that we recognize that Christ is the capstone of everything. And while the church is formed, uh, that in us individually and as a group, that it is built together and it is the spirit dwelling in us. In other words, we're, we're different as a result. We're not just believers, but people can tell who we are. Uh, not by our talking, but by the way we conduct our life. And because there's lots of talk out there, you know, uh, there's soundbite talks and there's rants. But the reality is, are we at peace? Are we emulating Christ with our lives? Do we get deterred and discouraged? Or do we persevere uh, as we face the tests and trials um, when people don't believe uh, or whether people believe other things, uh, like you can make up anything as you want and call it whatever you want? Uh, do we let those things tear at us or do we realize and act like that we're at peace despite the fact that that's going on and that we want our witness of our lives speak to those people. That's this, all what we've been hearing this week, including this feast day, leads us to ultimately that message for this Sunday and uh, in the scripture. It's getting at that very point of uh, how we respond if to faith that we continually are accepting every day again and again and again. Not that we've got the stamp like that uh, from the ink pad onto our paper uh, of who we are, but that our very being is being transformed and the spirit 
is welling up in us. And so that's the challenge. So what did the gospel or the uh, responsorial psalm say? Go out to all the world, tell that good news. morning on this great feast of one of the apostles, we stand before God with hope and trust in our hearts and deep perseverance to help us live in a, a confused world. We bring our prayers and needs before God, seeking to pray for the things that will help us to be more faithfully as holy people. After each petition, you may respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may continue to graciously bless and watch over his holy church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may work through our leaders and, and really through everyone at the grassroots level to bring about and preserve peace among nations and among families, pray. Lord, hear our prayer that all Christians who suffer persecution for their fidelity to Christ and his church may be fortified by God in their personal faithfulness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ's presence among us may give us hope when we are perhaps hopeless and strength when we falter, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died, especially remember our mass intention today and all from our families and parish families who've gone before us, and our mass intention is for Betty and Norb Fry and Fred Schneider, that they all may encounter the risen Christ and come to the fullness of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we can now offer our personal needs. For these needs and for all who hold a St. Thomas as their patron, uh, whether it be parishes or individuals, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these our prayers and grant them according to your most holy will. For we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, by iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and to offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Lawrence, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Betty and Norb Fry and Fred Snyder. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Benedict and Saint Scholastica, and with your Apostle Thomas, that we remember today, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We may now offer one another a safe sign of peace. Peace to all of you. Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Giving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, now bring me to judgment and condemnation with your loving mercy. Be for me protection of mind and body and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Blessed by your sacrifice, strong in your love, O Christ, our grateful voices to you we raise. True adoration, true adoration.